Hello everyone and welcome to episode 33 of Let's Play Star Wars Not to the Old Republic. In this episode we're finally going to venture out into the dunes out here. But we got one more character we want to talk to over here called Izzyz. We want to see what he what's up with him. We heard about him by, from another Jawa in another part of this city. Let's talk to him. Well, I don't understand your true language. What is it you want, Jawa? Giants of sand? Sand people? So is, is what do you want me to do? Tell me where your people are. Maybe I'll help. Why have they taken your people? A few more questions, all right? Tell me where your people are. Maybe I'll help. Why have they taken your people? Tell me about those that came before. I'll accept payment if I do this, Jawa. I can check. Tell me, let's see, uh, I'm looking for a star map. Can you help? Hmm. Well, tell me after I help you, why should I believe you? A few more questions, all right? I expect payment. Let's check it out when I leave the city. A few more questions. I'll expect payment. I'll check it out when I leave the city. Tell me where your people are. Maybe I'll help. I'll check it out when I leave the city. Okay, so he, the uh, sand people have kidnapped, the Tuscan Raiders have kidnapped his, uh, parts of his tribe, and he wants to go out into the sand, find them, and bring them back. Gate guard villain. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. I have proper authorization, you stuck up dickbag. They should add that, you stuck up dickbag. Zerka Corporation does not want the complications or expense that come with people wandering the dunes. It's too dangerous. Running this installation is difficult enough without fools wandering around getting themselves killed by sand people. Why does Zerka Corporation think that will cost them? Don't get cocky. It has nothing to do with how much you are worth. Workers demand the iron shovels are cheap. 
What they don't want is sand people salvaging your weapons. Their raids cause enough damage as it is. Let's get back to my first question. How are you, Tom? I have proper well, authorization. Come on. It's my hunting oh, license. All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Okay, let's go. Um, we need to kill some sand people to get some Jaffe sticks to sell so we can go buy ourselves a droid who will join our party and he will become a permanent member. And he is awesome. There's a reason that he's a fan favorite. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. What do you mean by you old boys? Anniversary gift? What are you talking about? You're just another of his buddies from that hunting club. I know your kind. You all cover for each other, I bet. Well, he can do what he wants. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own license just so I could see that he did. You sound like you're planning to kill him. Anniversary gift, what are you talking about? Just a little something to remember me by. Something that symbolizes our years together. Something that will blow up in his face. Of course, he'll never understand how appropriate it is. He can't talk his way out of this one. He's not smart enough. You sound like you're planning to kill him. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. Um, alright. What if he has a message for you? Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. I what have to go. Do? Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Okay, she uh, can't trust her any further. You can spit to a fucking hurricane. Let's uh, begin to explore out here just a little bit. Uh, there, there are boundaries placed over this place and you will find different things that you can hunt out here and kill there's uh obviously there's uh broken down a small group of sand people ambush you all right jabby sticks This should not be tough. I don't remember these guys being tough. There goes one, two. Three. Got him. Bantha fodder, sand people clothing, blaster rifle. We need some cash before we deal with the sand people clothing because we need the sand people clothing eventually. Anyone out there? Could you help? I seem to be uh, doomed. Let's go see what's up with this guy. Isn't this the hunter we ran into? Hey there, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. Oh, hey, it's you. I remember you at Foz's place. Could I get you to help out a fellow hunter? Please. What happened here? Well, uh, it would appear that I've worn out my welcome with my wife Marlena. She fixes my droids. <laughs> Fixed them good this time. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. She was right. What do you want me to do? The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, 
They're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. If you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. I'd, uh, really appreciate a bit of help. Please? Alright, I'll help you out. Hold on. I'll help you, but I want something in return. I'm not doing anything for you. You can rot. Okay, let's help the guy. Just access each droid's repair interface. You'll have to do some tinkering, but be careful. One explosion, I can survive. Any more than one, and I'm dead. Oh, and uh, ignore the message Marlena left in there. No way do I deserve this, I swear. Okay, save before you do this. Because you're liable to fail. This, uh... You got a bunch of these guys. Playback. A message from Marlena. Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? I made sure you would. Here's the deal. Your precious droids. Your precious droids. Have you trapped? They'll have you wait to die of thirst. Make a mistake while repairing them and they explode have a good death my mother was right about you what a bitch status of the battle droid unit is one of four linked droid similar type group status of unit energy governed by the alignment error introduced by slime ball must die script. A weapon heat displacement error. Error introduced by slime ball must die script. Primary motivator offline. Error introduced by slime ball must die script. Target acquisition failed. Introduced by slime ball must die. Let's see. Uh, system status. Scanning memory nodes. Error. What? Fourteen four eleven dash fourteen thirty one dash fourteen thirteen dash twenty one dash fourteen. Gotta be one of the two with 14 at the end, doesn't it? Let's see. 11. Plus 20. With 31. Minus ten. Uh, shit. Critical system error, target acquisition malfunction, discharge. Okay, I got it wrong. And load. This is why I said to do the. I, you can automatically repair it if you have enough parts. It's a big waste of parts. So you could just. I do this by trial and error. Plus, I suck at these kind of logic puzzles. I've never been really good at them. Anyone out there? Could you help? Access and repair functions. Let's see, load game. Yeah, I'm probably going to load game over and over until I get this right. 
and I'll save after every single one I get right. You do the same. I would recommend doing the same. Otherwise, it's a pain in the butt. Anyone out there? Yeah, we're here, dude. What do you want? Okay, Dad got one. Exit. That takes care of one. Save, save. Let's take care of the rest. Probably screw it up a couple times every single time I do. Access that, access that. Node one reports node two failed. Node two reports node three failed. Node three reports node two failed. So the above are definitely false. Compare logic. Node report, Let's see. I'm gonna say uh, go to reports node two, node two reports node three, node three reports node two. So node two is reporting accurately. Returning to normal. Exit. That's two. That one was actually easy to figure out because two of them are reporting the same thing fail, which means that they can't be right if the two of them are working incorrectly. Let's see about this. Let's see. Function. Two, three, five, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. I think it's one. Ah, shit, I got it wrong. No. Load game. Oh, that was doing... Ah, whatever. Good thing I saved after getting those two, so let's uh, get back to it. Uh... Anyone out there? Yeah, dude, we're, we're here. Let's, uh... Two, three, five. Let's see. Two, three. This two is fine. This three is eight. Uh, six. Two. Okay, load, that was wrong too. These are probably, guys are probably shouting the answer of the damn screen. I'm fucking tired, so I'll blame that. <laughs> I need to finish recording and go to bed. Pretty soon, I need to go to bed. Let's do this one last time. Let's uh, try this. Anyone out? Yeah, I know. I got two of your droids, dude. Let's uh, try this one. Status. Okay, I got it wrong three times. I know the answer now by process of elimination. Yay, better than nothing. Okay, let's do this again. Yeah, yeah, I, I gotcha. 
Let's see, inner diagnostics mode. Returning to normal. Okay, that's three of four. Let's get the last one. I think there's four. Yep, this is the last one that's malfunctioning. Enter diagnostics mode. Power cell must... Power cell drain must not exceed total. Different motivators measure the same total energy pool as either 300 small pulses or 180 large pulses. Error. Upper motivators have 100 small pulses. How many large pulses? Are left. Let's see. Yeah, it would be one third of it. So one third. Let's see. I think this is it. Returning to normal. Exit. Okay, there we got it. That was unpleasant. Thanks for your help. I'd have been a goner. Hey, and the old bat thought I was dead. <laughs> Never asked me for anything, but I consider my life worth something. Please, take this. I insist. That will be fine. Good luck. I think I should ask for more. Thanks again. I doubt any of those uptight hunters would have helped, and I doubt the wife is coming back. I'm heading back to the shop. I hope she left the manuals for these things behind. I'm grateful, little. Well, we helped that guy. Four hundred credits, hundred experience. Let's see, a save. How many credits do we have now? Uh. We have enough to go get the drawer. I want to explore out here just a little bit longer, though. It looks like something over there. Let's go see what that is. I was heading toward that earlier. See what it is. And I never got there. Re refuse pile. Ten credits and a med pack. Obviously that's a sand crawler. This is kind of just like you explore this big ass open area. Is that something moving over there? No, it looks like another refuse pile. I was hoping it was something we could hunt. You can replenish a lot of your. Uh... Small group of sand people ambush you. Let's get their Jaffy sticks. Sand People Warrior. Elite Warrior. I bet that's worth more. Bantha Fodder. Sand People Clothing. Blaster Rifle. Corpse. 17 credits advanced med pack. Let's heal real quick. Okay, let's continue. We got a whole bunch of stuff way further back there. More sand people? Yep. These guys are not that difficult to take out. There goes one. Uh, 
Okay, there he goes. Uh, let's check this refuge pile. Sam people clothing, blaster rifle. I guess I can't check that refuge pile. There's a lot to explore and do out here in the dunes. There's a lot of area to explore, as you can plainly see. The refuge pile and a corpse. But I want to... Let's go back and let's buy said droid, shall we? Get ourselves another party member, I think. A vast desert stretches beyond you with no markers and any cadet. Okay. Let's not go that way then. I know, I'm not trying to leave out into the desert, damn it. You actually get a, quite a bit of cool Star Wars lore. On this particular uh, planet it's very interesting you get to learn about the history of some of the native species and native people here to Anchorhead let's go back and buy that droid shall we actually saved up for that droid faster than I thought I would. Let's go into the droid shop and we will purchase HK-47 for a whopping 4,000 credits. You can actually, um, I, I, it doesn't always work, but it is possible to actually threaten him and get the droid for free. I have done that once and I have failed to do that once. Although I had to say, I had to load a previous save when I failed it, as I recall. What is stopping Jawa from scavenging? I don't, I don't need a translator. I understand most language is fine. The Jawas bring you HK-47? I'm asking you a question about... I'm interested, let's talk price. 4,000 is fair, I'll pay it. I'm looking for exotic something called a star map. No. Nope. 
Okay, let's go talk to our new droid. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Kill something for me? Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. At your command, of course, Master. Travel with me now. Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. HK-47 added to party. Press A to go to the party selection screen. We have a new party member. Let's, uh... Let's go with this party configuration. Yes, I do. Oh, he's one evil asteroid. Look at that. <laughs> Let's equip him, shall we? Type 2. Stun Ray. Okay, let's give him Ordo's Blaster. Okay, and that's it for this episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. That would be greatly appreciated. We will talk to you guys next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. <laughs>